हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लोंगानी क्लिनिक्स टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इनटू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ प्रोटीन डाइट्स थिंकिंग अबाउट गोइंग हाई प्रोटीन्स यू हैव प्रोबेबली हर्ड अबाउट द अमेजिंग बेनिफिट्स बट व्हाट अबाउट द पोटेंशियल रिस्क इन दिस वीडियो we are exploring the truth about the protein diets separating facts from the fiction we will break down all the pros and cons so you can decide if a high protein approach is right for you we will cover everything from muscle growth to kidney health so stick around to get the full picture let's get started a high protein diet is a meal or it is a meal plan that includes a larger percentage of protein than standard dietary recommendation it is often used for muscle building weight loss and overall health benefits now we'll see what is the daily protein requirement for general category or general people 0.8 g per kg of body weight then for athletes and active individuals 1.2 to 2.2 g per kg body weight then the weight loss and muscle gain people 1.5 to 2.5 g per kg body weight now we will see what are the sources of protein in that first you will find animal in that you will find first meat which includes beef pork lamb and game meat are all good sources of protein choose lean cuts to reduce your intake of saturated fat then comes the poultry it include chicken and turkey are excellent lean protein sources lean protein sources are those that are low in fat and calories while still providing a good amount of protein remove the skin to further reduce the fat next one is a fish and seafood fish is a great source of protein and omega 3 fatty acids salmon tuna cod and shrimp are all good choices next one is eggs eggs are a complete protein source meaning they contain all nine essential amino acids next one is a dairy milk yogurt and cheese are good sources of protein and calcium choose low fat or non fat options now we will see the protein sources mainly from the plant in that first you will find legumes it include beans lentils and peas are all excellent source of protein and fiber next one is a soy soya beans and soy products like tofu is a best source of protein diet next comes the nuts and seeds nuts and seeds are good source of protein and healthy fats almonds walnuts chia seeds and flax seeds are still good choices whole grain next one is whole grains like quinoa brown rice and whole wheat bread contains the proteins now we'll see what are the pros or advantages of protein diet first one is a weight loss protein can help you to feel fuller for longer time reducing calories intake and potentially aiding in weight loss next one is a muscle growth and repair protein is essential for building and repairing muscle tissue especially important for those who exercise regularly next one is a improved metabolism protein has a higher thermic effect than carbohydrates or fats meaning your body burns more calories digesting it next one is a bone health adequate protein intake can help maintain bone density and reduce the risk of osteoporosis the blood sugar regulation protein can help stabilize blood sugar levels reducing the risk of spikes and crashes next one is a it supports overall health it helps in hormone production immune function and tissue repairs now we'll see the cons cons of high protein diet disadvantages first one is a kidney strain high protein intake can put extra stresses on the kidneys especially in people with pre existing kidney condition 
Next one is a potential weight gain. If protein intake is excessive and not balanced with enough physical activity, it can lead to the weight gain. Next one is a nutrient deficiencies. High protein diet can sometimes lack essential nutrients like fiber, vitamins and minerals if not carefully planned. Then comes the digestive issues. Some people may experience constipation or other digestive problems due a lack of fiber in the high protein diet. Next one is the increased risk of certain cancers. Some studies have linked high consumption of red and processed meats which are often high in protein to an increased risk of certain cancers. Now some important consideration we will see. Protein quality. Choose lean protein sources like fish, poultry, beans and dentils over the red and processed meat. Overall diet. A balanced diet with plenty of fruits, vegetables and whole grain is crucial even when focusing on protein intake. Next one is the individual needs. Protein requirement vary depending on factors like age, activity level and health condition. Consult a doctor or registered dietitian for personalized advice. Next one is hydration. Drink plenty of water to help your kidneys process protein effectively. Now we will see the concluding part. So there you have it. A balanced look at the pros and cons of protein diets. While protein is crucial for many bodily functions including muscle growth and weight management. It's important to be mindful of potential drawbacks like kidney strain and nutrient deficiencies. The key takeaway, moderation and balance are essential. Focus on lean protein sources. Combine them with plenty of fruits, vegetables and whole grains and always listen to your body. Ultimately, the best approach to protein intake depends on your individual needs and goals. What works for one person might not work for another. If you have any specific health concern, it is always best to consult with a doctor or registered dietitian before making significant changes to your diet. They can help you to determine the right amount of protein for you and ensure your overall meeting all your nutritional needs. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more nutritional tips. Thanks for watching.